Games coming to you with another video review. And this time, we're going to be taking a look at something that if you follow me on Twitter, know that I have been trying to get my hands on for several, several weeks now. Um, even going back to before I went out on vacation, so about a month ago or something, I've been, I've been really looking forward to these. And I want to send out a very special thank you to my good friend, Panzer Jedi. I'm going to put a link down. I want you guys to go and show him some love and let him know how much I appreciate everything. He found these for me and he got these sent out to me and he got all three of them in one shot. And I'm so excited. This is the classic Predator from the Predators movie. Now, I'm not going to get into the movie too terribly much. I'm going to read the background and everything. But th this is just an outstanding looking figure. The packaging is very nice. This is done by NECA, who does a fantastic job. You look on the bottom. Randy Falk, fantastic guy. I want to send a special high out to him. Everything about this figure is out of this world. The picture on here, fantastic. Well, it's out of this world because it's an alien. You know kind of an alien very nice sorry about the glare there that for a second you spin it around here on the back Gord, look at that picture just fantastic oh that is so awesome uh zooming in a bold new chapter in the predator universe shot under the creative auspices of robert rodriguez in this story we follow royce a cold-blooded mercenary whose only allegiance is to those who pay him he reluctantly leads a group of elite warriors who come to realize they've been brought together on an alien planet as prey. With the notable exceptions of disgraced physician Edwin, they are all cold-blooded killers, mercenaries, Yakzua, I don't know what that is, convicts, death squad members, human predators that are now being systematically hunted and eliminated by a new breed of alien predators. Now, uh, one thing I will talk about, you got all three figures right here, fantastic looking. When it says classic predator, this is, what we're introduced to in the new movie is basically a diff all different races of predators. The classic Predator is something that we've come to know from the first two movies, The Predator and Predator 2. The Requiem, all, the Alien vs. Predator, those have essentially been eliminated from this franchise. This is almost like a third movie, uh, completely ignoring the first or the, the other kind of sequels, the Alien vs. Predator sequels. And the classic Predator is the one that we've seen from those previous films that we've gotten used to, that we've come accustomed to, that have come to Earth battling Arnold, battle, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the first movie, Danny Glover in the second movie. The other two Predators that we see here, we got the Berserker and Falconer, these two guys right here, these ones are a new race that we're introduced to. And you will see in the movie that these are far superior than these guys. These are kind of like the wimps of the whole group. So there's it. Fantastic packaging. I really love the way this guy looks. Let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. Honestly, if there's gonna be a Predator figure that you guys pick up, it needs to be this one. This thing is outstanding. Outstandingly gorgeous until we get more versions of the uh, the predator figures with the the open mask type of thing This is this is it. This is phenomenal This one reminds me so much of the predator that we saw from the first two movies that it's scary I, I absolutely adore the way this thing looks. It's ugly It's all it's ugly so ugly. It's gorgeous now in turn in terms of just awesomeness okay uh first let, let me mention that he comes with this accessory um it's his backpack and it has a posable gun on here uh it can move up and down it can rotate uh it's it's really nice very old uh looking very metal looking it's a very nice piece it clips right on uh, let's see if i can get this done right again uh, there's a little tab right in there and there okay and then it's just it just slots in it's very nicely done articulation wise his head is on a ball joint when this is on here it kind of gets on the in the way plus his hair which just it it's unreal all of them are like individual threads uh that's just the way the hair is it's, it's so cool how it actually is uh so the head is articulated it's on this little ball joint so you can get it kind of doing any number of poses. Uh, the arms go out about that far. There is some uh, hindrance here with this, but it's not too bad. It rotates up and down. I was actually kind of concerned about this wire right here, but again, these wires seem to seem to be a little flexy. Uh, you don't want to go too far, but that's about what you're going to be able to do. And there's another one here on the elbow joint that, again, is just long enough 
for it to reach its full potential um, in terms of the articulation on it. The arms are beautifully articulated even at the elbow as well. The hands, very cool big hands, very alien looking hands, I love them. Uh, they move in and out, they're on little ball joints as well, rotates at the waist. He's got this weird kind of cut joint that angles the legs outward like this, but then that's up at the upper part of the groin area, and then at the, the real high part of the thigh is another cut joint. So you can rotate the leg up and then rotate it down, and then you can bend the knee, and the knee also rotates. So you can kind of get it positioned uh, like that. I, I suppose uh, you can get some interesting poses with it. The ankle is actually on a ball joint, so you can get a full range of articulation on there as well. The, the detail on here, just look at the face. Just look at the face. That says it right there. Gorgeous looking open mouth look. Going all the way down the body, just fantastic detail on the double blade, which also extends outward. Really cool. But when you extend it out, they kind of pinch together. Uh, they don't really stay separated like when they're pushed in like so. Um, just more detail through here. Gorgeous, the nice electronic bit on here. Fantastic looking. Very much reminds me of the Predator 1 and Predator 2 figures. And look at the feet. Feet are huge. Huge feet. Just absolutely gorgeous. This figure is easily one of my favorites in my collection right now. Uh, the, the Predator figures are just out of this world. One really cool thing if you have a stand, which I happen to have an extra clear stand, uh, it kind of, kind of sort of fits on here. Let's kind of get the foot in there. Kind of just get that in there nicely. By positioning it, you can, you know, you can angle back, create some like really nice angled screaming faces. I mean, that's just really cool. I just think it looks so phenomenal. It's just a great, great looking figure. The detail on this, outstanding. I really can't even think of anything else to say other than pick these figures up. Again, very special thank you to my good friend, Panzer Jedi, who was able to find these for me. I was so desperate to find these. Uh, a fantastic figure set. Um, these little rubber pieces don't appear to be completely glued on, which I don't know if it's meant to do that. Um, give it some more realism, I suppose. I don't know. Who knows? I'm just going to position this how where he's screaming I mean that's just so bloody cool just so cool absolutely love it like he's just screaming into the air fantastic figure highly recommend th these figures I, I really cannot think of anything better to say about them other than pick them up without a doubt easily some of the coolest figures in my collection. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. I'll talk to you later.